whole fruit and nothing but the fruit. <laughs> I can type. <laughs> announces his candidacy for the office of president of the United States. We're very sad right now. I have sinned against you, my lord. Would you lighten up and take some risks? Good morning, Vietnam! Let's let the people decide. I'm back in the race. <laughs> There is much more to be done. Excuse me, what do you think of the school food, now that you I have a whole thing? Um, well, the word pathetic comes to mind. Uh, what, what, I mean, why did you pick hot dogs? Are, are those hot because. dogs? Excuse me, what do you think of the school food? Fair. What do you mean by fair? Some's good, some's not so good. Have you ever looked at it? I mean, is apple. That, this is, is, is that from home or from that? Yes, school? This, is, this is homegrown apple. You want to know what you think of the school lunch? Um, I eat the fruit. I don't eat the lunches. I bring my lunch. Mr. Christensen. Mr. Christensen. What? what? What do you think of the school food, Mr. Christensen? What do you think of the school food? Well, listen, right now I've got to. I, 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 Excuse me, Ellen. <laughs> what do you think of the school food? Okay. Kind of soggy. Richard, you're not using a tripod. <laughs> Richard, use yeah, a right, tripod. You know who I'd like to ask is oh. Mr. Swain. Oh. Nice style. <laughs> what do I what? Think of the school food. I bring my lunch. Does that answer your question? Okay. What do you guys think of the cafeteria food? Oh, the wine list is pretty handy. Um. Microphone, you got yeah, I know. What do you think of the school food, Brooke? Personally, I think it's pretty hideous. I can't eat it.
Now let's just put two or three things about her. We're going to jump to about four things. What do we know about Theodore? There is such a diversity in this school, uh, among the students, among the teachers, uh, and within, of course, itself, that that okay. makes it a good thing. She's very childish, which may be a, a, a reaching back, a grasping back for this, for this youth. He says, when you look at her, what can you tell? That she wants to be beautiful. That just very beautiful? It, to get someone, to try to show someone that here is something inside a book, that only you can discover. You can have people work with you, and you can say, you go with this, look at it this way, do it this way, and then find it on your own, and take it and have it make something and mean something. That's what makes all the difference in the world. Um, and some of the things aren't things that I think should be found out as, as we go along. You saw in the class today, uh, we started on one thing. I, I, I thought, we really have to get this idea of, of the nature of mankind across. And we didn't. We went to sin, and then we went to evil, then we went to good. And it was kind of what I wanted, but this, the students themselves in the class started to share their own ideas, bring up their own ideas, and, and put in parts of the reading uh, that meant a lot to them, that is still going to come along the same line. I love that class. That's a good class. We have a lot of good things. AB 7.30 in the morning to talk about evil and sin. Oh, my gosh. Well, part of, part of the Catholic concept of sin is that you have a full understanding of what you're doing is wrong and that it is a sin. So in that sense, not only is what you did not a sin, because she really, she didn't understand, but Theodora sort of should, because she's religious. Mm -hmm. well, Rachel, they, L. She, but they didn't know that, I mean, they lived in paradise, they had no idea of, of punishment and, and any consequences. I like the way he keeps it interesting. It's not boring at all. He's, he's funny. He's, he's loud, and you don't do that much work. And the work you do is 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 interesting. You learn a lot from all doing it. He also keeps you interested in class. If you if you're bored or anything like that, he'll say some sort of loud comment. I'll get you awake, and you'll pay more attention. And you'll learn more from that. And he gives you assignments that are meaningful, nothing that's useless. It's just busy work. To think that there is a program that a high school kid, after four years of high school, can have at least 10 different English teachers in 10 different areas of English it makes a phenomenal difference. Give me one hell of a performance right now. We need it. Pick up on all those ideas. Here we go. I'll tell you what, cards, cards, okay, some playing cards, 52 pieces of taste board. What I'm going to have to see, I've been working professionally now for the past seven years. And one for you. And one for you. Okay, and what I'd like you to do, please, is just take this, this is a magic marker for a magic show, and just sign your name on the face of the card, please, on the front, not on the back. No, 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 not on that side. Not on that Pardon? What did you say? It started when my, my, my great my uncle um, asked me. Well, actually, he just showed me some magic tricks. Thank you. And and I just got intrigued, and I just started doing it all the time and practicing in front of the mirror and performing for my family. And 
Um, Interesting. Ben. And and uh, just I'm doing it wherever I can. I'll be able to find your card, your card, and your card. In I say about two minutes. Okay. okay. Out of this pack. Now, if you, if I don't find any one of your cards, you all get to have what I have in my wallet. You get to split. It. All right. Now don't get too excited. Uh, met a lot of nice magicians around the country as I got older, and they helped me as I was young, when I was younger. Helped me a lot. Uh, I read a lot of magic books. Still do. I've invented almost a hundred magic tricks, which uh, many of it which have been published and will be published in the future. I have a book written, um, which I'm not going to publish for a little bit. I'm going to wait until. One, two, three. I'll just wait a few years. Up in the air, down to the pack. And there it is. The interesting thing is, if you take the three of diamonds and rub it against my elbow, would you name your card, please? It changes. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm going to find your card now. The hard thing is, it has a signature on it. So I'm going to place everything inside the card box and try to make your card actually disappear from the pack. It's going to actually vanish from the pack. Here we go. Here, it's gone. All right, for my next trick, um... <laughs> oh, come on now. Uh, um, <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you, this is, this is kind of weird. What, what, what do you name your card, please? Two hearts. No, no, the one you wrote your name on it? The, the two of hearts? Really? <laughs> this is really bizarre. Um, now, you've been holding onto that wallet for the, mm -hmm. the whole duration of the routine, correct? Yeah. All right, now, inside of this wallet, I have a... A zippered compartment. Now, would you please unzip the zipper of the compartment there? No. Put it on the side. Thank you. <laughs> Inside of there, I have a sealed envelope. <laughs> a sealed envelope. Er, 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 er. No. I'm sorry, last time I did that, someone threw me a fish. <laughs> anyway, inside the sealed envelope, if I were to get it open, it would be to rip it open, I'd like you to remove the card from there and please show it to everyone in please the audience and to the me. camera. It is, in fact, your card, and I know it because it's your name. Um, what do you plan to do uh, after college? I actually want to go into medicine. Um, now, I know this is on tape, so don't hold me to that, but I, I'm, almost, I'm pretty darn positive that's going to be going into tape. I try not to think about the school food. It might be edible. I'm not sure exactly what it is, you know? So, let's go into the cafeteria. Join the cafeteria lynch mob. Get out of here. The students have talked to me on several occasions about some problems they've had around the menu and the quality of food. Uh, I think they've made a good case. I think that they have passed the complaints on to the people running the cafeteria, and it's m my impression that these people are trying to make an adjustment. Uh, I feel that the uh, cafeteria boycott was a uh, success to a point. Uh, there was a, a level of participation which I was surprised to see. It was so cool. Everybody was eating pizza. There were boxes of pizza all over. Crowds rushed to get the pizza. So I think the boycott was a partial success anyway. The food, in my opinion, has gotten a little better. Um, I don't think as much as we had planned on it getting better. Well, I didn't think it did much damage, seeing that it was only one day. Yeah, I participated in the food boycott, but I don't think it was a success because it still has the same food being served as before. It's just more expensive now. <laughs> School food. What do you think of the school food guy? I think the school food. Oh, you already asked me this question. is something that comes and goes very rapidly. Fashion is something that stays with us for a longer time. I don't, I don't go for a particular fashion. I just wear what I want to wear. Like, it doesn't have, I don't care what everybody else is wearing. Yeah, I think uh, if you got money, it's nice to have fashion. And if you don't have money, I think it's fun to do fads.
it goes out as quickly as it comes in, and fashion usually stays for a period of time. A fad is more of a train of thought, while a fashion would be something that you can see or put your hands on. I like my shoes. Now, do this you, is dressed up. But do you, do you dress that way because you're comfortable that way? No, it's cool. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, because it's never happened to me. It happened to me. It happened to her though. I I'm, believe it. I'm not into I'm that yet. I'm waiting until I get out of college. You can't wait though, Michelle. It's something that just hits I'll you. I'll wait until it comes to me. Love, love is a, a meaning ship between two people. It's, it's, it's more like a partnership that's working together. It's a give and take, if you know what I mean. When you care about somebody more than yourself. you care about yourself. Love is a, love is a give and take kind of thing. <laughs> With Brian and I, it's very, it's a mutual type of relationship. We have an understanding with each other. Um, next question. Do you want to get married? Yes! I do! I do. She's got a boyfriend she wants to get married too? Yes. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I do. Boyfriends. We all believe in true love, except for her, because she's never experienced it. That's a very, um... Provocative. <laughs> that's, a, that's a difficult topic. Really, you guys have to go to I know that the world needs me. With representatives from both groups, we will meet with the food service people and attempt to move in the direction of providing something that is satisfactory to all. Finally, I would ask those who are participating in today's demonstration to be respectful of the people who work in the cafeteria. sold on school grounds during uh, the hours in which the cafeteria is in operation is contrary to state regulation. Now, hear me. Now, I have allowed that to occur, putting my neck out, okay, because we've had Satori selling a few brownies. Now, however, we're going way overboard, and we have an operation that's a, that's, this is a junior deli here, okay? And what do you think about Mr. Hart's response? Uh, no comment. Um, I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about this boycott? We know you're a food manager. No comment. Find somebody who has tenure. Okay. How do you feel about the boycott? No pictures! Excuse me, how do you feel about the school boycott? It's great, it's needed, it's the first thing. Well, you want to elaborate so it, on that? It's, it's all greasy and oily, and it tastes horrible, and it's just not worth paying for. So you're supporting this? Definitely. Cookies. Roll. John, I thought you were kicked out. I love you, David. Rich, I love you. I love both of you. Jason. Really? I thought you were kicked out upstairs. Ah. Uh, in front of the lunchroom. Are, are you doing this illegally right now? How do you feel about this boycott? I think the boycott's working out very well. I think it's very successful so far. And I think we're going to have a real effect. What about Mr. Hart? I think Mr. Hart understands the situation, and he understands that the students are really annoyed about this, and I think he's going to do something about it now. They're going out for another shipment of pizza now. Fill up their car at Mario's down in Chappaqua. How do you feel about the school boycott? I think that probably it is appropriate. I'm not sure that all the bases were touched ahead of time. But I don't think food's that bad. Really? But then again, I don't have time for lunch to offer. Great senior year. Twenty years from now, 
I'm gonna be a cocktail waitress. I'm certain of it. I'll be hitchhiking across America. In 20 years, I'll sit on my couch and watch my children's farewell video to their high school. <laughs> Listen, if uh, some people could go out and get water balloons, we need some more water balloons. Yeah, water